You love big dogs. But your apartment or other tiny home isn't quite roomy enough for a large canine cuddle buddy. Or is it? We've gathered together seven large dog breeds that will fit nicely into your small abode. You're watching Animal Facts. Number seven. The English Mastiff is enormous. Growing to a height of 30 inches, these dogs can weigh as much as 250 pounds. Not exactly the dog you envision living in a small apartment. Believe it or not, this massive canine can be an ideal apartment companion. This easygoing, laid-back dog only requires moderate daily exercise, which can be acquired through daily walks and occasional trips to the dog park. The rest of the time, the Mastiff will be quite happy being a large sofa warmer. Number six. Okay, the Mastiff might be a bit big for your taste, but we have another surprise Mastiff breed for you. The German Mastiff, aka the Great Dane. Like the English Mastiff, the Great Dane probably didn't come to mind when you clicked on this video. But they're actually very mellow dogs. Just be aware that a swipe of the tail can clear your coffee table faster than a cute cat video can go viral. A regular walk will satisfy the activity needs of most Great Danes, who will then be content to lounge on your sofa watching animal facts, even if only his head fits in your lap. Okay, you're probably thinking, hey, the Basset Hound is not a large dog. Well, yeah, Bassets seem smaller than they actually are because of their short legs. But these short but thick scent hounds usually weigh between 50 to 65 pounds, or just shy of the weight of a Labrador. This laid-back family friend is calm and rather lazy around the house, with moderate exercise needs. Bassets are hardy eaters though, so make sure it's getting some exercise, or they can put on a lot of unhealthy weight. The biggest faults are the tendency to drool, the tendency to stink, and to howl when lonely or to sound an alarm. If you can tolerate its quirks, the basset can make a wonderful apartment companion. Number four. If howling and smelliness of the basset are just a bit much for your small apartment, perhaps a standard poodle would better suit your fancy. The Spoo can be an elegant addition to your apartment lifestyle. When they receive appropriate amounts of attention and exercise, standard poodles are usually satisfied to lounge during the day while you're at work or school and don't normally bark for attention. Be sure you have a good dog groomer on speed dial though, to keep its coat properly styled. The typically aloof and dignified Sharpe was apparently designed for apartment living. It tends to be a one-person dog, often has a calm nature, and generally house trains easily. The Sharpe is quiet in the house and is a remarkably good watchdog, rarely barking unless in play. If you hear your Sharpe woofy, it would behoove you to go see what has caught your pooch's attention. A short, brisk walk will satisfy your Sharpe's exercise needs. It typically doesn't have a high activity level. Number two. Choose an Irish Wolfhound only if you won't mind being stopped every few steps by people wanting to know how much your dog eats, asking if their kid can ride it, the answer should be no of course, or jovially joking about you walking a pony. A male Irish Wolfhound stands at least 32 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs at least 120 pounds. It'll take up a lot of space in a tiny apartment, but as long as you remember to step over it, it's generally a gentle and quiet companion. Adult dogs usually enjoy walks, but they typically won't become restless if you have to miss one because of the weather or a late work day. Before we get to number one, let's cover some things you need to think about when deciding to have a large dog in an apartment. You need to be able to get your dog outside quickly when it needs to go potty. This is especially important when house training a puppy. And please use poop bags. No one likes stepping in a large pile of dog poop. 
do you have space to store a large amount of dog food? Unlike tiny dogs, you're going to need to buy 40 to 50 pound bags of dog food, which can not surprisingly take up no small amount of space. And most importantly, do you have time to walk your dog several times a day? Even though your large dog can live happily in a small apartment, it still needs to get out and stretch its legs. It can't just burn off energy by bolting around your apartment like for example a Yorkie or a Chihuahua. Your big dog needs to go for walks, which isn't all that bad for you as it turns out. Number one. For the lover of greyhounds, the fact that the 40 mile per hour couch potato made it to this list comes as no surprise. Witnessing a greyhound lounge on the sofa for hours at a time, you'd never know this dog could run faster than many deer. Some owners even equate living with a greyhound to living with a really big cat. Your greyhound's favorite place is often on the sofa, and as a general rule, it really barks. Your greyhound will enjoy a long walk, and if you like to jog or run, will typically be happy to join you but it's usually equally satisfied with a couple of short daily walks or maybe a chance to run in the safely fenced area. After a couple of spins around the park, he's typically done for the day. With greyhound racing falling out of favor and becoming illegal in some parts of the world, for now, there is no short supply of greyhounds needing forever homes. Consider adopting one from any of several greyhound rescues. Hey, thanks for hanging with us. If you want more doggy videos, you can check out more here. If you like this one, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If not, what are you waiting for? If you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, there are plenty of ways listed in the description. And as always, catch you next time.